All right, so all of statistical analysis boils down to three questions. And I have made the claim that while math can answer these three questions, you can use a different method. If you have the right picture, you can answer the three questions. How big is it? What difference does it make? And are you sure that's not just dumb luck? So let's go to the board for an example. Okay, it's 1854, and people are dropping like flies from cholera in England, in London, in the Soho district. A lot of people are dying, very, very ugly way to die. You don't want to die from cholera, trust me. But it's 1854, and I don't even have a germ theory of disease. I have no idea what causes it. The most popular theory is miasmas, which is to say bad smells. And there was one guy named Snow, who was a physician at the time, and he said, you know what, if it were bad smells, everybody downwind would be a goner, and we're not seeing that, so I don't think it's air. Which leaves, because I don't really know about bacteria yet, that leaves bad water, bad food. I'm thinking it's not the bad food thing, I'm gonna go with water. So, where do people get their water? People get their water from a well. Because there's no indoor plumbing yet. So, Snow made a map. He took a map of the Soho district, which basically, you know, a bunch of cross streets like that. And he just added deaths. So every household that had had a death, he put one pip for death. So there's some deaths here, some deaths here, deaths all over the place, a couple out here. All right. So he, he's got this death map. And then he says, and I think it's the water, so I'm going to add where the wells are. And it turns out that there's a well over here. There's a well up here. There's a well down here. There's a well right there, well down here. And there's a well right here. That's the Broad Street Pump. And he said, you know what? I think there might be something wrong with a Broad Street well. And he talked to the city elders, and he convinced them, and they disabled the pump. They took the handle off, and people had to go elsewhere to get their water, and they stopped dying. <laughs> so that seemed to be pretty good evidence. So, okay, let's take a look at our three questions. How big is it? He has clearly demonstrated how big the problem is. So we're answering the question of how big it is. So second question. What difference does it make? Well, if I live far away from the Broad Street pump, I seem to live. And if I live close to the Broad Street pump, I die. So that's kind of an important difference. Okay, so we've got meaning. We've got what difference does it make covered. Third question, and are you sure that's not just dumb luck? And this is the tricky one. This is the one that usually takes a lot of math. But this time, what did he do? He took a look at his map and he noticed that there were some outliers. There were some changes in the pattern. The first one, is he noticed that right around here is the section where it's close to the pump, but there were no deaths. And there was something similar going on over here, close to the pump, but no deaths. And then out here, far away from the pump, and a couple of deaths. First thing he did, he went and he knocked on the door. And he said, hey, what's going on here? And they said, well, the mistress of the house died, and so did her niece. Those are the two deaths. And he said, well, where do you get your water? And they said, well, the mistress of this house uh, tended to like the taste of the water from the Broad Street pump. So every morning, they had us walk to hell and gone to go get it for them. And so, uh, yeah, that's why she died. And her niece also died because her niece was allowed to drink the good water. All the servants in the household, they weren't allowed to drink the good water. That tasted better, so they lived. And then over here, he knocked on the door, and he found out it was a brewery. They weren't drinking the water. And they had their own well. But the point was, they're not drinking the water from this pump, so they live. And over here, knocked on the door. It was a workhouse, which is a little bit like a prison. And so the people weren't really allowed out as much as you'd like. And they had a well inside there as well. So he had positive outliers, people who were living far away from the Broad Street pump, but died because they were drinking the water from the pump. And he had people who were living close to the Broad Street pump who didn't drink the water from the pump and they lived. So, you live close to the pump, you die, unless you don't drink the water. You live far away from the pump, you live unless you do drink the water. Pretty sure it's the water. And that's how, in 1854, before we understood about bacteria, before anybody knew about viruses, before we could understand any of that, a statistical analysis showed the cause of cholera. It's the water.
And it was done with the right picture.